Welcome everybody to 2020 to a brand new video my first ever video of 2020 um, I'm a little under the weather still you could probably tell in my voice hopefully not too much um, but today's video is just going to be talking about uh, future releases that are coming out in football boots and I'm going to tell you the ones that I want to get or that I'm going to get and just talk a little bit about you know boots in general so let's get started for all my sources for those of you wondering uh, where I look my stuff up if it's not on Instagram then I go to footy 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 headlines footy headlines I don't, I don't know why I was saying it like that sorry um, and that's where they have all the leaks um, things of that nature so if you're not familiar with that definitely I would say check it out I go to it probably once a day um, and then it'll have all the future releases um, coming out since I am using the tablet I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but I'll scroll so you go right there and then you can just kind of scroll over and it'll show you at the top a rundown of what you're gonna get to look up that's a one, the tempo that's coming out it's kind of cool I like this website um, they usually are right about the releases, so you don't got to worry about that. Um, and first off, it says it has Adidas. I don't really buy Adidas just because I don't get a discount on that stuff. I would love to review um, Adidas stuff, but it's expensive for me on my budget. Adidas, if you're watching this or anybody that can hook me up with an Adidas discount, let me know. I would love to do some reviews on Adidas shoes. I think... I do have the pink uh, Adidas that were released about two years ago, and then I ha and and I have obviously the Copa Mundial. That's about as Adidas as I'm gonna get. Um, so it says now these have already released most of them or some of them. January second, it said we had the Adidas Copa Twenty Plus. Um, I've heard really good things about it. Obviously, I don't know. But it's, they went with an all black theme for the releases. Like I said, I don't know if you can see that. But they used all black for most of them. Uh, for the Adidas Nemesis 19. Never tried them. Can't comment on them. Look kind of cool. Um, I'm interested. If I was going to choose. Also the Adidas X19, sorry. Which looks pretty cool. Um, but if I was going to buy one of these boots or adidas boots if i had a choice i would definitely try the um adidas predator 20 plus that they say is going to be releasing Let's see if i can upload or get a picture loaded and it's obviously not for sure confirmation sorry about the glare i'm trying to do my best to get it um but i would try that it's it's interesting to me um, the collar does look a little weird. It's higher in the back. I don't know if I would like that, me personally. Um, but also, I don't know if it would be enough to not make me want to buy it if I was interested in them. Um, and they have a red and black version that looks kind of cool. And if, you, if you're familiar with the Predator, which I never got to wear it, um, but you know, I had the element the striking element which you know if you knew Beckham they really they really really used him because he could if you didn't know he could curve a ball so they put those three lines and supposedly it helped you curve better I don't know um I didn't get to wear those but it looks like they added some type of rubber element to the 20 plus uh, predator so we'll see how that's going to work out um i think i don't know i like the concept i i they should just bring back the regular predator which they did actually but i mean just going forward like i don't know why they they make these boots i don't know if it'll sell well i hope it will but who knows um like i said it would be between, if I had to choose an Adidas boot, it would be between the Predator or the Adidas X19. Nemesis, to me, I don't really like that style, the look of it. Or the Copa, actually the Copa 20 is, is, is another good uh, boot as well. Um, 
Oh, and we have this Adidas Predator. What's it called? The Archive. It's going to come out. Looks kind of cool, I guess. Uh, has a whole bunch of different colorway colors on it. And I believe that is one boot that has different colors. It's not two different boots that the person is wearing. Cool concept. It's kind of like the What Does that Nike does with the What The Mercurios. So, same concept. Pretty cool. Um, colorways, like I said, they got the all black for Adidas. And then they have red and black as well. I like this uh, Copa 20 Plus. It looks pretty cool, I would say. But... Right now, I still would choose the all black. Oh, yeah. And so moving on from Adidas, New Balance has some boots coming out. Honestly, honestly, of all the brands that I would try, the one I wouldn't try would be New Balance. It just doesn't catch my attention. Um, they are doing some things with basketball with Kawhi Leonard, which they stole him from Jordan somehow, uh, which I thought was crazy. If you're familiar, if you're familiar with uh, basketball shoes, um, and now they're they're pushing the, their their boots, their cleats, which is kind of cool, but just to me, I, I don't know. It's got a long ways to go. I would try every other brand before I would try a New Balance, unless they're handed to me. Which again, New Balance. If you're watching this, change my mind. Convince me. I know they're not, but still. But one boot I want to talk about that is already out that I am definitely going to get my hands on because I really like the color it's obviously a color that nike already released but look at this the puma king platinum in this blue colorway is so amazing it's so similar to the mercurial in color but i don't care that's one thing that's an all other boot i have the all black one and i need that blue one for sure in my collection which i'm gonna get that that might be my first soccer boot um, review of 2020. Hint, hint. I'm hoping for. Um, but moving on from there, let's go. Let's look. What does Nike have? Nike's got a lot of releases coming out. Well, I mean, at least they have them on here. So real quick, I'll show you. These are coming out in February. You got the Nike, uh, a Nike Mercurial in a red, a Nike Phantom Venom. Uh, you got the Phantom Vision 2, I believe, which they had showed uh, pictures before of this and they said it was maybe not the correct um, one coming out, but I, I, it looks like it is. And then they have the, the Temple Legend, but these are awesome good colorways. But see, this is the thing. They're kind of similar to all of Adidas colorways, the red and the black, other than that Phantom Vision right there and, and the yellow, but they're all similar. So, who kind of decides the colorways? And I don't, I don't know. I don't. How does that happen? How does that happen where the colors of the companies, you know, they they're they're so similar? And that's kind of the same thing with the Mercurial, like I said about the Platinum. Because then, if we look at the future here, oh, another boot that I've never tried. It's in that blue colorway too. It's the 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 winter. The winter flash pack, sorry, is what it's called, but it was out for the winter. Um, the all black. This one looks pretty cool for Puma. Um, but again, that blue, I just really liked it on the Superfly, on the Mercurio. So that's why I kind of want to get it in the Puma, in the Platinum, because the Puma King Platinum, because it's just a leather shoe. And I really like leather shoes. Um, but out of all these, the red Nike boots that... I'm looking most forward to getting my hands on would be this one. Let me show you guys the red Superfly. To me, that's the main one from the Nike series that I would want to get my hands on um, or do a review. It's going to be the same boot, but I think that red, obviously there's going to be no changes to the boot, but the red just, it just looks so nice. And red is one of my favorite colors. The Phantom Venom is okay. Um, the colorway, I don't know. I don't know what they do sometimes. Phantom Vision 2, I don't think that's going to sell. Which brings up, brings me to my next point. Rumor has it that they are canceling the, um, 
the Phantom Venom and continuing with the vision. And I think that's a mistake on Nike's part. I don't understand why they want to get rid of the Venom. I would have got rid of the vision and kept the Venom at least for another line. I, maybe they just don't know what, where to go with it after this. But it looks like they're keeping the, the vision and getting rid of the, the Venom. And that to me is, I don't know. But if we take a look at these Tiempo Legends, don't they kind of look like a, like not the, they look like a, ah, okay. Okay, so yeah, I was going to say this, if you look at the cleats, how they're red, usually that's a, the, what is it? I don't even know. See, I, I really, I don't know my cleats other than the elites, but this is the, the real version of it. This is the elite. And you look at the cleat bottom, it's more clear. That's usually how you can tell um, right away if the cleat is the elite version or not. Because if you look at this, this doesn't this just doesn't look good. Because that's got to be like a mid-tier boot or something. Um, oh, you know what it is? It is the um, AG stud pattern, I believe. So that's why it looks like that. But everything else, I guess, is the same. Um, so... Pretty cool colors. I still don't understand why Adidas and Nike would re decide to uh, release the same type of colors. Um, another thing that has me a little puzzled with Nike is why are they releasing this boot? Let me show you guys. See if I can get a good picture. No, it's not going to be that good. But Okay, so they're releasing apparently this boot. This looks so similar to the launch, one of the launch colorways, the black one. I know it's they, it's supposedly iridescent, um, but it looks so similar. Why would you do that? And you can kind of see it right there a little bit, but I mean, why would anybody, if someone bought the black pair, why would they purchase this pair? I don't, I don't get it. Again, I don't know what happened, what goes on in headquarters at Nike. Their colorways that they choose, I, I really don't know. It's really quite funny to me. And then we can take a look at the Phantom Vision uh, 2. It's the same colorway, the iridescence. Um, which, that is a little bit more understanding. It's the second uh, version of, of the Part 2, the Vision 2. Um, so that's okay if you want to make it that color. The launch colorway, I had the launch colorway of the first one in black. It's a little bit different. I mean, you can kind of see it in that. Maybe a little, it's like green in the toe box area. And probably changes colors based off uh, your angle where you're um, seeing it. Oh, look at this. Here it is in hand. It doesn't look that much different from <laughs> the first generation, honestly. Um, but for something that took over the Magista... I, you would have think it would it would have been a way better boot. It's it's a okay boot. I feel it's not a, an elite model. It shouldn't be, you know. That's just my opinion. Um, and then in March, those are all going to be releasing in February. The red and 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 the Nike collection. But then in March also you have a Predator Mania remake that is going to be releasing. Um, looks kind of cool. Blue. Uh, not too bad. I like the red one that they released. Um, see if I can find a picture of that. But it's, it was really cool. Um, yeah, right here. Now, if I could have got those, I did try to look, um, online and see, but those sold out and... I didn't really want to spend 300 plus on those. That's way too much. Way too much for a soccer boot that you're just going to get dirty and, and whatever. Okay, so now in March as well, it does say we are getting a pink uh, Nike Temple Legend 8 Elite, which is going to look something like this. Again, this looks doesn't look like an Elite model, but... I mean, the color is there, so you can kind of picture what it's going to look like. I think that's kind of cool. That I might be interested in. Um, 
but that's a takedown model. So just kind of figure out what it was going to look like. Uh, I'm also excited about the, the Nike Mercurial uh, Dream Speed 2. Um, so it's going to look like this is what they're saying. Now to me, it always surprises me. I don't know how they get... Um, how do they know these are coming out? How do they get leaked to people? But, you know, if you get them, that's cool. Uh, I mean, I might be interested in that one. I really like the color, but it's... I don't know. It's... Do I really need all these boots? <laughs> the answer is yes, of course. Um, like always. <laughs> and then there's a New Balance... Hold on, there's a new, uh, oh, it's going to be the first ever knitted New Balance boot is going to come out as well in, in March, the Furon, so, but they say it's going to be a modern design, good for New Balance, I guess, that might help them. Um, I'm not saying they need help or they're not good boots. It's just, to me, it's just not, they're not, you know, in the competition for, um, higher end boots. Like if you're thinking about soccer boots, you don't think new balance to me, maybe in Europe or maybe somewhere else. It's okay. But, and then in May, there's another Nemesis 19, another Adidas X 19. This one kind of looks cool in May. Um, it's, hmm. Got an interesting design, the little bit of pink there. But again, with Nike releasing, you know, pink boots, there's Adidas again, trying to not copy, but it's just, if I was competing with something, I would try to make something totally different and different colorways and, and, and all that. Now, the next two that I'm going to show, well, yeah, okay, I'll show these next two first. This, to me, is another Mercurial Superfly. Now, I don't know why Nike does this. They keep the same, you know, name, still the Mercurial 7, and they change something on the shoe, and, I mean, I don't know why. Just change the color, but this is a, a, a pretty drastic change for a boot. We saw it with the Superfly 5 where they put Nike on the side, or, or they put some, I don't know, I had the boot somewhere. Um, they put you know, some lettering on the side and they changed it up and they did the same thing with the vision and the venom this past um, time. And, and this, now they're changing up the, the Superfly, and it's going to look like this, which, why didn't they just make the first boots like this? But you can see the, the swoosh is like cut up a little bit and then there's some white and added and it's, it's kind of cool, but is it enough to make me buy new boots unless I really need to? I mean, I'm going to buy them just because, you know, I, I like to review them and, and I like to collect them and stuff. But if I don't need them and I'm not doing reviews, would I buy them? I don't know. And I feel like that's the whole focus of a business is to um, you should make people want to buy your product. But anyway, so moving on. Also, they have rumored to release um, is a uh, Nike Mercurial Superfly elite in the cr7 safari colorway so i don't know if they're going to plan on doing a remake of this um boot or just uh a superfly in this colorway because they are releasing something like that coming up um with one of the superflies so i don't know but that will probably be limited i would say and not a lot of people are going to be able to get that and then, of course, in July, another Superfly with uh, the new design, I guess you could say, which it's, it's cool to me if that Nike would do that to the swoosh. I've seen it some, some, something similar done where they've done stuff with the swoosh on uh, basketball shoes, never on, on soccer. So that's kind of cool. And then the ones I'm excited to get is the... Mbappe, and she's going to get some pink Nike Mercurial signature boots. Um, don't know exactly what it's going to be, but you can see there. And then they have some um, older ones, what they look like. Just to kind of give you probably an idea what 
the color could be, which that's kind of cool. These, I don't think they really sold that well. And if I'm not mistaken, back then, only Ribéry wore those. Uh, but it's kind of cool. I like them. I like those. Um, and then, oh yeah, here, let me show you what I meant. So, they have it right here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was right there. Hmm. All right. Never mind. I guess it's gone. <laughs> it was the, I was going to show you the super, the mercurial that they were going to release that looked like the old gen. Basically carrying on the tradition of having the new mercurial look like an old mercurial. I didn't really like it, but. And then in August, they already have uh, an Adidas ghosted. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. Hmm. Is that what it is? I don't know anything about this. What this cartoon is or what the collaboration is. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Looks like some anime stuff. Kind of cool. I don't know if they're going to release like that or not, but... Hmm. So, well, uh, kind of cool. Um, so yeah, those are the the boots that are going to be releasing soon. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you're excited for, what boot you're excited for, um, or something that you would change. Maybe you want us another boot retro. I don't know, re-release. What do they What do they call it? I know in sneaker terms they just call it retro. Um, I would ask for them to release a CTR 360 just because I didn't get to try that boot. And I have a friend who says those were the best boots that he ever wore. And he's worn Mercurios and worn it all. So I'm going to trust him on that one. And um, I would say I want them to release that, which hopefully they will. I don't know if it's been long enough. So maybe they're going to wait a little bit. I don't know. Uh, that's Nike for you. But so right now I just want to go over. I want to make five. I guess you could say resolutions. I don't like that word, but five resolutions that I want to do related to this channel. And I'm going to write them down and I'm going to save them. And hopefully December 31st of this, this year, I will visit, revisit them. And hopefully I was able to check them all off. Um, I wanted to do something like that um, before the year ended 2019 but i got sick and i couldn't do it so we're gonna start it now um my number one what well these aren't gonna be really in order so we're just gonna say number one thing that i would want to do one of the things is i want this channel to get 1000 subs so let's put 1000 subs in exclamation point um, number two, what else, what else do I want to do? What else do I want to do? Number two, um, let's say, oh, I'm going to put down upload consistently. Let's, let's do, well, let's do at least, at least one upload a week. I'm new at this. I'm not very good at this YouTube thing. So we're going to say at least once a week uploads. And that's probably going to be the easiest one to fail. Whatever. Um, this will be, I guess this will be considered, it's the fifth right now when I'm filming this. So this will be the first um, upload. So... I'm okay so far. Number three, I would like to totally customize a football cleat with a character. I want to try to do like a Dragon Ball Z theme. So let's put, um, let's just put Dragon Ball Z boot, soccer boot, football boot. Ball boot custom, right? Custom. 
Four. Number four, if you've ever heard of SneakerCon, um, I want to try to get a community together to do that with soccer boots, where you can trade, you can purchase, but do it with soccer boots because a lot of people, I feel, would want some boots that they can't have or they didn't get a chance to get, and maybe they want to... Um, you know, someone would trade or someone would sell and you go to, if you're not familiar with sneaker con, basically you just meet up and you can buy shoes, you can sell shoes there and it's a huge event. So why not? Let's say, let's try to get a sneaker con for football cleats. It's going to be tough. I know. I don't know. I'm, it could be already, already be out there, but I don't know. So let's say a sneaker con. for football boots and that i guess that could mean maybe go to one if there already is or get something started and okay and number five i'm gonna keep this simple i want to get have like a a match of all the youtubers that talk about football boots i would think that would, that would be pretty cool organize that or get that set up or get it going just spark it i think that what better way to show off your boots that you have than a soccer match with playing against other people who you know love football boots and i have a whole year to try that i've been wanting to do that so if you are watching this video hopefully you're still watching and you talk to you know josh from sr4u reviews um uh what's his name <laughs> Um, well, just the Boot Nerds podcast. How about that? I'm going to bug them, and we're gonna get something going. So let's put, let's put football match, match with YouTube YouTuber uh, boot reviewers. How about that? <laughs> Okay, so there are my five. All right, so let me show you. All right, number one, we're gonna have try to get this cam, try to get this channel to a thousand subs. That's important to me. I really want to hit a thousand. I'm only at two sixty some, so I got a long ways to go, but I can get there. Um, I want to upload at least once a week. I want to do a custom of Dragon Ball football boots. Um, I want to try to find or organize a sneaker con for football boots. Uh, basically, meet up, buy football boots, sell football boots. Limp, you know, you, you might be able to find a rare uh, football boot in there that you want. And number five, a football match with YouTube YouTuber boot, boot reviewers. I think that's the, the funnest one that I would want to do. So we're going to revisit this. I'm going to try to put it away in a safe place, store it away, and um, hopefully come back and I check these all off. Um, this is a kind of longer video, so if you stuck around and you watched, thank you very much. I appreciate that. appreciate you guys, all my new subscribers. Um, spread the word. Uh, hopefully big things coming this year uh, for my channel. Um, and uh, I had something. Oh, yeah. Again, if you want to see what I do on a daily sometimes or, or vlogs because I stopped putting vlogs on here. I stopped doing my uh, skits. That's just on another channel. I, I still am doing that the, that stuff. It's just going to be on a different channel, which the link will be in the description for that. Please, please, please go subscribe. I, it's a brand new channel. It was my first channel that I started, but I had other things up on it. So I'm just going to um, keep going from there and building that. I'm trying to build that up. Um, so uh, go subscribe to that channel, please, um, if you want to see vlogs and stuff like that. Um, so with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.